Here's what happened this season. The Saints defensive line played significantly better, which led to the Saints defense as a whole playing significantly better. And it starts with that guy. And Cam Jordan should be significantly fresher heading into the playoffs. Now, over the summer, we talked a lot about this stat. Cam Jordan played 990 snaps last year, 93% of the team's defensive snaps. He's now 29 years old. This is probably not sustainable. You want to prolong the elite portion of his career which he's in right now so that number has to come down no other defensive lineman in the NFL did that in 2017 look what happened this year Jordan played a hundred fewer snaps this season this is an 11 percent drop in the total number of snaps played and I think that is a really good thing in 17 Jordan had 62 tackles 13 sacks great numbers while seeing constant double teaming this year his production is down a tiny bit but here's the thing Jordan draws the double team and that's what's allowed Sheldon Rankins and the other guys around him to get better in 17 according to the analytic website football outsiders the Saints defensive line as a unit ranked 16th best in the NFL that's for playing both the run and the pass this year they were the second best unit in the NFL. And yes, Rankins and Alex Okafor and David Onyemata and Tyler Davison and Marcus Davenport all played a role. But offenses scheme first for Jordan. He is the focal point. He is the single biggest reason for this number on the season, the team's overall defensive success. And the single most impressive stat about number 93, since being a first-round pick at 11, he has never missed a game. That is amazing for a defensive lineman, especially one who plays so many snaps. I asked David Onyemata what to him is the most amazing thing about Jordan. He's out there the whole game, but he, he, makes, he makes rep 60 something look like rep one. Onyemata added this offseason, every other defensive lineman tried copying Jordan's workout regimen. Cam Jordan was the 24th overall pick in the 2011 draft. I would argue it was one of the best Saints draft picks, one of the top five picks they have ever made. And as we ramp up for what's hopefully another Super Bowl run, don't forget how valuable that guy is. Guys.